New developments in the Atlanta CRCT cheating report. The Atlanta School Board says it now has a plan to fix the problems it believes led to the cheating. Channel 2's Tony Thomas is live for us right now downtown where he just spoke with school leaders about what they plan to do. Tony. Yeah, the school board says it has that plan and its man to get out of this turmoil that's involving this district for the last few months. I was in Skyd School headquarters just a little while ago as the school board gave Errol Davis a year-long contract and also threw its support behind his plan, a long list of changes he wants to make. I am a little bit afraid uh, at the moment uh, <laughs> of, the, of the job and the task ahead. At his first school board meeting as interim superintendent, Errol Davis gets a big show of support and also a hard realization of what lies ahead. Two days after the state released a scathing report outlining a cheating scandal involving 178 educators, Davis gave the school board his action plan and then the board gave him a one-year contract. What purpose does that serve? Oh, well, the stability uh, we definitely need. In addition to the stability, you know, he's laid out a, a plan for us. And in order to execute that plan, he needs the time. Davis calls his plan preliminary and focuses on changing the culture inside Atlanta Public Schools. Davis says there will soon be a district-wide ethics training. It will require all employees uh, to take the training and to be certified. And it will also be a condition of employment. Other changes besides the ethics training, setting up trigger points, which will mean automatic investigations on suspect test scores, changing the Office of Internal Resolution, that's the district's department that handles complaints, and doing academic reviews for every student whose test scores were altered. We'll have a commitment to finding them and to making sure uh, that we help them in any way that we can. Now, one big question remaining is what happens to those 178 educators who were caught up in this cheating scandal? Now, behind uh, closed doors this afternoon, Errol Davis privately told the school board what he plans to do in regards to transfers or probable firings. Afterwards, he told me his first moves publicly could come on Monday. Live downtown, Tony Thomas, Channel 2 Action News. And today we spoke to three teachers named in the cheating report. They are denying any wrongdoing. It's embarrassing, and, and it's just downright slanderous. What they say they told investigators about cheating at their school and the pressure to change answers, that's ahead at 6. Be sure to go to WSBTV.com for comprehensive coverage of the cheating scandal. We have posted a link to the 800-page report and many of our past stories about the investigation. Just look for the APS cheating tab on the homepage.